All right, welcome back to Revisiting History. Today we're gonna to go visit the Durango Fish Hatchery Museum up in Durango, Colorado. Now this fishery located um, off the Animus, it, it actually produces up to a million fish per year, releasable and then catchable um, into the Animus River. On over 18 acres of land, it is the oldest state-owned fish hatchery in all of Colorado. The history of the hatchery is long and, and sometimes a little bit exciting. Now in the 1960s, people used to actually come up there and purchase food, but some of the food that they may have been purchasing was roadkill off of Highway 550. This was then ground up with oats and then sold to yours truly. So what's the point? The Animus River runs into New Mexico, and New Mexico has some of the best fishing in the entire world. Without this hatchery and things like it, um, the, the, the fishing just the fishing in this area would not be some of the best in the world. We have people traveling all the time from all over the place to Navajo Dam to catch some of the best fish here in New Mexico. All right, back on the trail. Let's go. Uh, we were at the Fish Hatchery and Wildlife Museum in Durango getting some revisiting history on. Let's revisit some history. How about it? It's been a while. I'm glad to have you. As if you see in Colorado, we got lots of pines. I mean, they go almost all the way down to New Mexico, but we got some down here. If you take a look, we got some pine cones. Here we got an example of a, a dry raceway where um, either it's been it's been cleared out for, for um, cleaning or you know possibly they've re they've released the uh, the trout into the, the the wild whereas this one if we get a little bit closer you're gonna be able to see there is a lot of fish in here and I mean when I say a lot you can you can see you can hear you can hear them flopping around in there it's crazy so many small ones I mean if you look this this raceway itself goes all the way from there there and it's it's stocked like so if you're doing fishing in uh southern colorado northern new mexico this is this might be where some of your fish are coming from this is really cool all right so there's a red building behind me over here and if you could see that that's going to be uh it, it's funny they say what's the secret mystery building um they, they apparently they fertilize up to ten thousand eggs there at once absolutely insane large number of eggs but I mean, if you see how many trout they have here, it's crazy. All right, well, that was fun. Uh, let's go and check out the uh, Wildlife Museum next, I guess. So check out Fish, fish Hatchery. They contribute massively to the, uh, I guess, San Juan River Basin and the area around it up in Colorado. But amazing time. Have some cool video. Cool. Got to see the fish jump like crazy. It's funny. I, I just looked over there. I saw a deer. Came over here. We got some big old fish. Big old fish. Those are, those are bigger than a foot, at least. See, it starts eggs, of course. Start turning to like pupae. And then by the end, we have a full, full grown of fish here. Look at this. Look at this. I, can, I can literally reach out and just. This is the first and last time, hopefully, I'll be petting a bear. So apparently, this elk right here had low testosterone. That's why its antlers grew the way they did. It's pretty messed up. I'm literally standing in the room where they actually used to process uh, roadkill and sell it as fish when they mixed it with oats. Now later on, of course, they fixed that, but this is back in, you know, uh, 1960s, people were eating roadkill mixed with oats and they thought it was fish. Terrible, in this room. 